What's going on everyone? Coach Josh here from Colossus Fit and today I'm going to be walking you through how to do the dumbbell bench press like a pro. Let's waste none of your time and jump into this incredible exercise. So a big thing with the dumbbell bench press that a lot of people don't think of, they're thinking of hand positioning, dumbbell positioning, all these things, they're not thinking about your body positioning. This is a big one because when you have a stable unit of your body, it's going to allow you to have more pressing power and strength. So the key things to think about when doing this, as you can see me doing here, I'm laying back, I'm making sure to have my scapula retracted, which essentially just means I'm pulling my shoulders back, pushing my chest up a little, put me in an optimum pressing position here, getting my legs flat on the ground. So if someone were to come and push me, as you can see me on the bench here, I am not falling over. Whereas when I'm on all loosey goosey, you can see I have no strong base for pressing. So it's a really simple thing that's overlooked, but doing this is gonna make your bench so much better. From here, in terms of actually getting the dumbbells set up, you can go ahead and grab your dumbbells, pick them up, you're gonna put them on your knees, and you're gonna make sure you're at the front of the bench press. If you're too far back, your head's gonna be hanging off, you're gonna be looking a little silly. So from this position, what we're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to learn how to kick dumbbells back. So it's gonna be a little scary, but you're gonna keep your back arch, you're gonna kick up your legs like this, and you're gonna let them fall. So I'll show that once again. It can be a little scary at first, but this is a good thing to learn because you will get stronger in this movement. If you're doing 100s, 120s, you're gonna thank me for this one. So you're gonna lean forward, kick back, arms stay straight, and you can see how I can start in the strong position. I'm gonna bring my dumbbells to my starting position. So now, in terms of the starting position here, a really good rule of thumb is to try to have your wrists above your elbows. This is gonna be a pretty optimal pressing position. You can vary this as you get more experience, but this is a great place to start. See how it feels and then work from here. In this position, we're gonna bring those dumbbells nice and close to our chest. We don't wanna be resting them on our chest. We wanna keep the tension throughout our muscle and we're gonna work on exploding up from this motion as you can see me doing on the screen. From here, we're not too worried about hitting the dumbbells together. We're just worried about squeezing our chest and being maximal there. When I press up, I like to just really focus on getting my chest nice and through. If the dumbbells touch, awesome. If they don't, it is not a big deal. From here, a nice easy cue is to imagine to bring your elbows down, not the dumbbells down, keeping that bar path that we mentioned earlier. And that in its simplicity is how to do this movement. But if you're like me, I find I learn a lot about what to do by knowing what not to do. So I'm gonna walk you through three common mistakes to avoid in this exercise so we can deepen our learning and understanding. Before I give you these three common mistakes, I'm gonna give you one thing better. My online coaching program has over 4,000 transformations for a reason. And that is because I will work one-on-one -on -one with you to not only fix your form, but optimize your nutrition, your training, your accountability, and your goal setting using high level strategies and systems to get you better results faster. And all my transformations are fully guaranteed. So if you're serious about getting real results, check out the first link in my bio, learn more about what I do. I'd love to work with you one-on-one -on -one and crush those goals together. Now into the common mistakes for real. This is a big one. First common mistake is wrong. So there's two ways to go about this wrong. So when you get your starting position here, our goal is to expand the chest as you can see me doing. I don't need to be doing this. This is ridiculous. It's uncomfortable. I'm pinching my shoulders but I do need that chest nice and extended. From here, you wanna obviously make sure you're fully contracting the chest, squeezing and locking out. It's really easy to sell yourself short here and do some of this action. I see it all too often. You're impressing no one but yourself and I guarantee you a lot of people are looking at you like, what is that guy doing? Looks like we're cheering with some pom-poms here. This is not what we're going for. Instead, really humble yourself, take that negative nice and slow with control, stretch out that chest, get a big contraction, you're gonna get so much more out of this exercise and you're gonna get such a bigger chest. Leaving your ego at the door for this will be your best friend. So that is the first common mistake. Mm -hmm. Numero deux, as the French would say, is incorrect elbow positioning. So an easy way to pinch your shoulders if you're coming down like this. You can see how ridiculous this looks. In fact, I hate even demonstrating this because it feels weird, but this is all too often when you're trying to keep your elbows out. Instead, you actually wanna tuck your elbows. A good bench press will look like this. Obviously, the more inward you come, the more tricep you'll be involving. This would be a close grip press. So we're not trying to do that, but we are indeed trying to have some degree of angle. Hands are just above the elbows here. I'm nice and low on my extension. This is a natural pressing position. As you can see, my elbows have a slight tuck to them. And that's why I use that uh, cue when I was telling you at the start of bringing those elbows down. It's a lot more natural than trying to keep the dumbbells in line with your nipples or something, because then you're gonna end up doing this and looking like a weirdo. So number three mistake, and I just really want to reiterate this, 
is being weak on the bench and also just weird head positioning, doing anything funky. Your torso should not be moving throughout this motion. You should really just be focusing on moving your arms to get that extension and contraction of the chest. Some examples of this will be if your head's falling off or you're, you're doing the dancing feet as you're going, you're on the edge of the bench, you're uneven, and you're only working one side of your chest properly. These are all gonna hurt you. Get strong when you start that motion. And when you kick those weights back, there's nothing wrong with the readjustment. If I don't like where I am, especially when I use heavy weights, get situated, get that scap down, get those legs nice and tight, get in a good position, nice and easy. It's a small one, but as you do get stronger, you will thank me for this. That's it. You are now a pro. You know now know how to do the dumbbell bench press. If I helped you, if you could help me, I'm out here begging on these YouTube videos for some likes and subscribes. Really would mean a lot. And I do want to thank you for tuning in today. And I also want to congratulate you on investing in yourself, learning how to do this exercise right. That is absolutely fantastic. Check out more of my content. I got more form guides. Love to help you out. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.